a heat advisory for Monday. Especially for those outside. Keep it in the ground! The protesters at FDR Park. Keep it in the ground! Hey, hey, pull up! Coal has been the foundation of the industrial age, and we would not have society as we know it without it. How would we have progressed as quickly as we did if it wasn't for the solid fuel of anthracite? It really is about the industry that, that made this region of Pennsylvania populous and, a, and really a transportation hub and an energy hub. So it also reflects the immigrant experience. This was the introduction to America for so many people. And a miner had one chance in 10 of dying. It's 480 feet underground. We're mining at the cycle. I probably get 50 bogies a day on a good day. I get to push this buggy all day long. <laughs> Surface mining is the most efficient way to get at the remaining coal. So we're moving 10 to 15 yards of dirt to get one ton of coal. We're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. She's going to close the miners that close the mines. The politicians are killing coal. Really put a lot of businesses out. You sort of see the dangers of regions being built upon a single industry. It's very hard to think about how a region stops being. When the mining industry closed down, the stores just started disappearing. People had the attitude that there was no future here. Companies came in, they did their mining, and they just walked away. The most degraded environment in Pennsylvania. I mean, there are 5,500 miles of streams in Pennsylvania that we know of that are impacted by abandoned mine drainage. This is the iron oxide that's deposited. There's no fish, there's no bugs. You're not going to lay eggs in this. You're not going to be able to breed 45 to 50 billion gallons per day. That's coming out of here every single day. House is falling into the ground because the underground mines give way. It's a very dangerous area to try and build on. So it is still burning, but it's about 300 feet down. We have prioritized the resource extraction. We've prioritized the capacity to generate wealth. We have suppressed, as we did that, the humanness of the people involved in it and then the, the importance of the environment itself. So what's the future of coal? Um, we gotta go. Okay, yeah.